If you're anything like me, you've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing New Horizons lately, and in lieu of a more formal, analytical video, I just decided I was going to review all of the K.K. Slider albums that I had, in terms of both music and album art, on, I don't know, like a stars or a 1 to 10 scale, I don't know, who knows. So let's, oop, let's dive right into this. Agent K.K. This album art makes me think of, like, I mean, it's obviously doing its job well, because it makes me think of, like, Columbo. Music-wise, I'm not really getting, like, a comp show vibe, but it definitely has a good groove. Um, I, I think this I'd probably give, like, a 10 to the album art, because the album art does the job really well. Um, music, like, a 7, because it's still a good tune. And we have Aloha KK, which just makes me want to go to the beach. But I can't, because we're on lockdown. This album art's just really cute, and I, I would I would like buy a print of this. Um, so I'm gonna give it a ten. This album art makes me think of that scene from Inception where uh, Leo DiCaprio makes everything explode. Um, but I don't really I don't really get how the music ties into a cafe. I mean, maybe it, it's like a this is more, if you have been to like a Parisian street corner cafe, maybe this kind of music would, uh... Oh, that's nice. That's a nice little bit. I don't know, this doesn't say cafe to me, so I'll give a 10 to the album art and like a 6 to the... to the music itself. I love seeing the, like, bringing in other animals as the band members on the album art. That's kind of neat. Then we have K.K. Ballad. I don't know. I don't really get this musically or artistically, but I mean, it's it's fine. I don't know. I would guess I'd give a five to the album art and a five to the music. So then, uh, I love you. I do like the album art. It's real cute. Cause I I don't know if it's going for like a like a like a children's lullaby type thing, but I I'm not really I'm not feeling it. I'm not. It's it's not for me. Hypno KK, which looks like somebody ran like a a picture of KK Slider through one of those like um, apps that you download. That's like, hey, make your picture look like a painting, and that that was kind of all that was done. And then they put like a glow around it. So I don't, I don't know. I'd give like a three to Hypno KK. KK Blues, great tune, great album art. Tens all around. KK Kazba. Is the writing on the album actually any form of Arabic? Or is it somewhat like the rest of the fonts? Like there's this thing Animal Crossing does where if it's not like the title of something or like the name on a storefront, the text is just kind of gobbledygook that's representative of words and implies words. So I don't know if that's the case with the, if this is just like fake gobbledygook Arabic or not. But either way, it looks good. I'd give this, I don't know, like a nine. KK Condor, which is what Flora has playing in her home. This album art makes me think of Mongolia, but Condor makes me think of California, um, because I did like a research paper in high school about the, the California Condor, which I think was endangered at the time, but isn't endangered anymore. I'd give this a nine. KK Country. This is a great tune, though it makes me think of that, uh, the last scene on the, uh, Splash Mountain ride, where you're, where you finally get through the laughing place and you get to see all the animals on the, on the steamboat, the steam paddle boat singing along. That's what this album art makes me think of. But I do love the kind of vintage-y illustrated idea. Yeah. And I like the idea of K.K. Slider in a big cowboy hat. Etude de K.K. I don't know. It's cute. I mean, it's cute because it's Animal Crossing and KK Slider, but it's not. It's not my thing. KK Disco is so much better than it has any right to be. You got KK Saturday Night Fever. It's just so good. Oh, yeah. I would buy an actual record of this tune. I'm super into this. This is tens all around. Top five KK Slider tunes in my book. KK Dirge. Love the album art. 
super spooky. In the canon of K.K. Slider, I like the idea that at some point he's like, I need an ominous Gregorian chant to add to my discography. So yeah, I really like this, even though I would never listen to it. It's just so, like, I don't know. I love the idea that K.K. Slider is the most popular musician in this world, and he sticks to no specific genre. He's just, like, throwing things at the wall and seeing what sticks. Okay, K.K. D and B which I'm assuming is some sort of musical acronym that I'm not familiar enough with, but I love this tune. I don't necessarily enjoy the album art. I'd give the song like a nine and the album art like a four. KK Fair, I would buy like a, like a print of this bit um, below the text, though I do not like the song. I think this, like KK Condor, is... I want to say Mongolian inspired because it sounds like KK's doing like a like a throat singing type thing. I love the album art. I'm not super sold on the tune. KK Flamenco, which goes pretty hard. This is a great tune. KK Folk, an eight for the album artwork, uh, five for the music. I know I have not been sticking to this rating system at all, but whatever. KK Fusion is a great tune and a great uh, album cover. It reminds me, it, it's not assembled entirely the same way, but it reminds me of uh, the first Van Halen album. And this this is the tune that I always had playing in my house in the first Animal Crossing game. Look at how much fun everyone's having on that album cover. KK Jungara, which I don't know if I'm pronouncing right. I love this tune. <laughs> And I, and I like the album art as well. It's just like a, it feels like a, like a, if Kurosawa had made a film about, like, dueling musicians, I feel like this could be a still from it. KK Island. Love the album art. The song is just, you know, it kind of is what it is. KK House. Which I guess I don't really understand what house music is, because I would have thought that KK D&B would be like a, quote, house song. The album reminds me more of like a K-pop type thing, which may just be showing off even more of my ignorance that that's what I associate with this album art. But, um, you know, I'd give the album art a seven and the music probably also a seven. Then we have KK Gumbo, which is a Steamboat Willie KK. I like it. I'd give the album art an eight and the music an eight. KK Lament. You know, I'd give the album a six and the music a six. I don't know. KK Marathon. I don't know. I'm not really into the album or the music. KK March. I like the album art. I'm not a big into, like, marching band music, so this isn't super my thing. You know, it is what it is. KK Metal, which is great. This is what's playing in Sprocket's house. It's got that kind of 80s to, to early 90s metal feel to it. It's got like a, like a Brutal Legend vibe, which I know Brutal Legend is parodying all sorts of like metal and rock and roll and stuff like that. But yeah, this is super good. KK Samba, big fan of the album art. This is probably one of my favorites. Just the, the composition and the color scheme and it's got a nice energy to it. So I'd say this is a 10 for album art and like a six or seven for the music. KK Reggae, you know, just super laid back. It's doing what it's doing. The album's pretty simple. The music is also, you know, you know what you're getting when you put on this album. So I'd say the album art's like a six, the music's like a seven. Yeah, KK Parade. I love the album art. It's just kind of almost like a stained glass vibe. Though I I do not like the music. I like that Mortimer's back there. KK Moody. Which, from the title, from the album art, you just get it. You get what this song is trying to do. This is that scene near the end of the film where someone says, Hey, I love you. And the person's walking away and they turn around and they say, I love you too, but the time, it's just not right. But we'll find each other. 
one day. And then they get in their car or their boat or their airplane and they ride off into the sunset. That's what this song is. And I love it. KK Ska. I love this album art. Super simple. It's got like the two tone thing going on. And you just know what you're getting. You're getting that backbeat. You're getting those horns. KK Ska. KK Song. It's doing this pixel art thing. It's doing like a like an underground level from like a Super Nintendo game. KK Soul, which looks like a poster for La La Land. It is what it is. I'm not I'm not super into either the music or the album, but um moving on. I love any of the album arts where they add uh <laughs> hair to KK. Yeah, this is like, it's a little down tempo for what I would want from, I, I don't know if there's like a KK Big Band album where it's like a little more upbeat in that kind of jazzy swing era, but um, I love this album art just because of <laughs> what it evokes. KK's huge eyebrows and then that little like pseudo Sinatra haircut. KK Waltz, you know, if you're into Waltz, it is what it is. I feel like this has been going on for a while, so I'm gonna keep moving. KK Techno Pop, which I love that whoever designed this was obviously working on the mantra of work smarter, not harder. <laughs> and uh, I mean, I don't know how they model the characters for Animal Crossing, but I want to believe that someone's like, I can just take the wireframe of KK's head and put it on this album and it works. I think I like KK Tango more ironically than anything because i i can't dance and i would never like listen to a tango in my free time because i that's just not my thing eight for album art nine for music kk synth yeah this is this album art is maybe one of my least favorites i'd give like maybe a four to the album art and then like a seven to the music you know you know what you're getting you can see it from the art I don't know, sevens, sevens all around. Lucky KK, get your, get your KK in a kilt, playing your little KK bagpipes, doing your traditional dances, your traditional Highland dances. Marine Song 2001, which uh, y'all will remember as the little song that this uh, little turtle man plays, whose name escapes me, but this turtly guy sings it to you as he's taking you out on his little boat. KK Pondering. I don't know, this or synth pop is maybe my least favorite album art. And I'm also not super into the music. But, um, yeah, we'll move on. Surfing KK. I would buy a, I would buy a print of this album cover just because I love it so much. This, to me, almost feels more Agent KK than Agent KK. This feels more like an investigative spy show than um than agent kk does i would have picked something more in like like a beach boys vibe for surfing kk but that's that's just me steep hill again one of these weird ones where they've added hair to kk (laughs) i don't know it's fine moving on soulful kk i love the idea of this animal crossing gospel choir i'd give this Album art like a 7, and the music also like a 7. Rockin' KK, which is the, like, Elvis-era rock and roll. Um, And you can tell that from the pose they have him in on the cover and the style of the music itself. So, it's doing what you imagine it would do. Oh, yes! The K-Funk. I love this musically, and I love this album art. I want to listen to more of this band. (laughs) They look way cooler than I could ever be. To the Edge. I don't know what this is. I don't get it. Are they? Is it like they're all whales and there's wa- there's there's you know vapors coming out of their blowholes? KK wandering. I like the album art. It reminds me of uh, Simon and Garfunkel, The Sound of Silence. If you just turned KK around, and then Welcome Horizons, which is the title theme of Animal Crossing: New Horizons. The album art's very simple, it's very, it's very subtle. 
it's doing what it needs to do. You've got the vapor trails from the airplane coming in. You've been welcomed to the island. And this is the song that greets you. 10 of 10. And those are, I know there's a bunch more of these uh, tracks out there, but these are all the ones that I had. And, uh, you know, that's a little tour of my little KK Slider record collection. I hope you enjoyed it. Hey everybody, this is Jake Terrio with Subpixel. If you've made it this far, hopefully it means you enjoyed that video that you just watched. So if you could leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're not subscribed already, that lets us and our robot overlords at YouTube know that this video is worth watching. So thank you for that, and we'll see you next time.